So I've been evaluating using different uh, languages on my LinkedIn profile. You can have, all of us, no, uh, this is not a premium version, but all LinkedIn members can have multiple profile languages. And what that basically is, it's a different presentation of your LinkedIn profile based on the location of the person viewing your profile. So if I was in a Spanish-speaking country, then by default, I would see um, this LinkedIn profile, my LinkedIn profile, or your LinkedIn profile if you have a, a, a Spanish-written um, LinkedIn profile. You can see up here the locale is the key here. Depend upon what country, what region you are in, you may see a uh, my Spanish LinkedIn profile. Or if you're in an English-speaking country, you'll see my English LinkedIn profile. However, you're not going to have that ability unless you create different LinkedIn profiles in different languages. And you can see right here, I've created one in Espanol, and I can hit this pencil right here, and I can add another language if I wanted to manage another LinkedIn profile in a different language. Now, again, it's the same profile. It's just presented in the, the differently based on the locale of the person looking at it. Now, there's a few things you need to be careful of when you're creating a LinkedIn profile in different languages. First of all, if notice if I choose Espanol, and if I go over here and I edit my um, um, head, headline right here, if I hit the pencil, you'll see that this is already selected the Spanish. You can see in green, it's selected Spanish. So now I can edit this Spanish version of my LinkedIn profile. And if I want to go back and edit the, again, because I have Espanol selected over here, and if I want to edit the English version, I can very easily select that. Now, it's still saying it's displaying the Spanish version, but I'm editing the English version of my intro card. Now, but there's a little snafu you need to be aware of, and that is when you're editing your about section or your education section and lastly your excuse me or your experience section and your education section notice this those are the by the way these are, these are the only sections that will have different text well, based on the language you've selected but when i edit the education section and i go to edit university of maryland You'll notice that in green, it has selected the English version, even though the profile I'm looking at is the Espanol or the Spanish version, I have to click on Spanish to get over here and edit this in Spanish. The same thing, again, I'll show it for you in the experience section, exact same issue. I'm, I'm looking at the Spanish version, but when I hit the pencil to edit it, it's selected the English version. I have to choose Spanish to get over here and edit this in Spanish. The same issue uh, affects the About section as well. If I hit the uh, note, I'm looking at Espanol up here, it's Spanish. And if I come down to the About section and I edit that, even though I'm looking at the Spanish version, it has selected the English version. So be careful when you're editing the intro card, the about section, the experience section, and the education section that you, when you're actually editing, that you have selected the version that you want to edit so that you don't edit the wrong one inadvertently. And again, these four sections, the intro box, the about section, the experience section and the education section are the only sections of a LinkedIn profile that you can adjust the text in different languages based on the uh, profile language you have selected. All of the other sections will be in your native language, in my case, English, in your native language, and it will be duplicated across all of your uh, different LinkedIn profile language presentations. Important to pay attention to which section you're editing when you're editing that data. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this is helpful for you.